Yep. So I've labeled everything they've given us. Like the outer dimensions are 16 and 10, the area of the pool alone is 112, and each one of these widths is x. So this little part is x, this little part is x long, that little part is x long, and that little part is x long. So if I want to talk about the area of this pool and I need a length and a width, I know that this width isn't the full 16. It's 16 minus these little pieces, right? So it's 16 minus 2x's, right? Same thing here. This length is not the full 10 long. It's 10 minus 2 of those x's. So that's that and that. So if we have the base and the height of our rectangle, we can find its area. So I can say that 16 minus 2x times 10 minus 2x should equal the area that they told me was 112. Now we have an equation. We can totally solve this. Um, you could FOIL this whole thing out now. To make it a little bit easier, I think I'm going to factor out some 2's to make these numbers smaller. So if I factor out a 2 from that, and a 2 from that, and then if I divide both sides by 4, that'll zap out those 4's, the 2 and the 2, and leave me with 8 minus x times 5 minus x, and 112 divided by 4 gives me um, uh, I'm 12 divided by 4. I'm like, is that 28? Okay. So, got that. And now we're just going to solve this. So, foiling this, I've got a 40 minus 8x minus 5x plus x squared equals 28. Got a quadratic, so our goal is to set it equal to 0 and try to factor it. So, I have x squared minus 13x kick the 28 over, that'll be uh, minus 12, and that'll equal 0. This thing will factor for us, that's x minus uh, 12, oh that was supposed to be a positive 12 there, there we go. So now that works even better, right? So that's x minus 12, and x minus 1 is 0, so x is 12 or 1. We have two answers, but one of these answers doesn't make sense in in real life stuff, this x can't be 12, because if those two x's were 12, this whole thing would be 24, and that length is only supposed to be 10. So we're going to kick that out. The 1, though, should work just fine. We can check it if we like. If uh, these x's were 1, then this thing here would be 14 long, and this guy here would be uh, 8 long, and 14 times 8 hopefully gives me 12.